हाय गाइस लुक एट दिस इक्वेशन द इक्वेशन इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी वन ना वी हैव अ सिंगल इक्वेशन एंड वी हैव टू वी हैव टू वेरिएबल्स उस वैल्यू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ना कंपेयरिंग दिस विद अल्जेब्रिक आइडेंटिटी दैट इज ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब इज इक्वल्स टू ए माइनस बी इन टू ए स्क्वेयर प्लस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वेयर वी कैन राइट दिस एज एक्स माइनस वाई इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स वाई प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी वन एंड द प्रोडक्ट इज अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सो वी हैव केसेज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर हेयर दैट द फर्स्ट केस इज दैट इन विच द प्रोडक्ट कैन बी वन एंड टू नाइन्टी वन दैट मेक्स द प्रोडक्ट नाइन्टी वन एंड इन केस नंबर टू द प्रोडक्ट कैन बी माइनस वन इन टू माइनस नाइन्टी वन दैट मेक्स द प्रोडक्ट नाइन्टी वन एंड इन केस नंबर थ्री इट कैन बी सेवन इन टू थर्टीन दैट मेक्स द प्रोडक्ट नाइन्टी वन एंड कैन बी इन द केस नंबर फोर इट कैन बी माइनस सेवन इन टू माइनस थर्टीन विच मेक्स द प्रोडक्ट नाइन्टी वन सो हेयर सो डिस्कसिंग ऑन दीज फोर केसेज जस्ट लुक एट द सेकेंड पैरथिस दिस इज एक्स स्क्वेयर एंड दिस इज वाई स्क्वेयर इट मीन्स दैट दे वी हैव अ सम ऑफ टू स्क्वेयर सो दिस सेकेंड पैरथिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू इट कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव दिस वैल्यू कैन बी आइदर पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव फॉर द सेकेंड वैल्यू टू बी पॉजिटिव वी आर गोइंग टू निगलेक्ट दो सोल्यूशंस दो पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट हु हैज द वैल्यू नेगेटिव सो नेगेटिव वैल्यू दिस वन इज रिजेक्टेड एंड दिस वन इज रिजेक्टेड सो वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन केस नंबर वन फर्स्ट According to case number one, we have x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square is equals to one into ninety one. So we have the possibility that x minus one is one and x square plus x y plus y square is equals to ninety one. Just call it as equation number one, and this as equation number two. Now this x is working on the second equation. This x y can be written as minus two x y plus plus three x y. Just we are splitting this x y in plus three and minus two. Plus y square is equals to ninety one. Now rearranging the equation, we have x square minus two x y plus y square is equals to three x y is equals to ninety one. Now the, you can see that this is a perfect square, so you can write it as x minus y whole square plus three x y is equals to ninety one. Now from equation one you can see that x minus y has a value one, so just put it here. You get one square plus three x y is equals to ninety one. Just take this one on the right hand side, so its sign gets changed. Further, you can write it as three x y is equals to ninety. Now, in, in order to eliminate three from a left hand side, just divide by three on both sides. So you get x y is equals to thirty. Now, calling this as equation number three. Now we have this equation, and the other equation is x minus y is equals to one. Now, solving these two equations simultaneously from equation number three. From equation number three, you can write this x y is equals to thirty, or you can write write y is equals to thirty upon x. Call this as equation number four. Put this value in equation one. Here you get x minus y is thirty upon x is equals to one. Just taking LCM, you get x square minus thirty is equals to one. Further, you can write it as x square minus thirty is equals to x, or you can write it as x square. Bring this x over here. On the left hand side, its sign gets changed. Now this is a quadratic equation. We can find the values of x by just splitting up the middle term. So here you can write minus six x plus five x minus thirty is equals to zero. 
out of these two terms take out x common x minus 6 here you get a 5 common x minus 6 is equals to 0 out of these two terms x minus 6 and x plus 5 is equals to 0 now this implies x minus 6 is equals to 0 and x plus 5 is equals to 0 further you have x is equals to 6 and here you have x is equals to minus 5 let's call this first solution and call this second solution now for x is equals to 6 we have this x minus y is equals to 1 putting this value of x here you get 6 minus y is equals to 1 or you can say 6 minus 1 just bring this 1 here and bring this y over there you get y 5 or you can say y1 is equals to 5 so for x1 6 we have y1 is equals to 5 now working on the second solution of x we have x2 is equals to 5 and this equation x minus y is equals to 1 putting the value of x we have minus 5 minus y or you can say minus 5 just bring this one here this is minus 1 bring this y on the opposite side you get y or you can say y is equals to minus 6 this is the second solution and this is the so we have x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 that we have evaluated x1 is 6 so y1 is 5 and here we have x x2 is minus 5 for which y2 is minus 6 now this here we have handled the first case now let's let's discuss case number 4 according to case number 4 we have x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square is equals to 7 into 13 further you can equate it as x minus y is equals to 7 or x square plus xy plus y square is equals to 13 now for case number 4 call this as equation 1 and call this as equation 2 now working on equation number 2 first x square plus xy plus y square is equals to 13 you can just write xy as minus 2xy plus 3xy plus y square is equals to 13 now rearranging the equation x square minus 2xy plus y square plus 3xy is equals to 13 again you see that this is a perfect square so you can write it as x minus y whole square plus 3xy is equals to 13 here we have x minus y is equals to 7 so put the value here you get 7 square plus 3xy is equals to 13 here we get 49 plus 3xy is equals to 13 further you can write it as 3xy is equals to 13 minus 49 or 3xy is equals to minus 36 now divide by 3 on both sides so you get xy is equals to minus 12 or you can say just call it as equation number 3 for case 2 or you can say that y is equals to minus 12 upon x putting this value of y in equation number 1 that is x minus y is equals to 7 just put this value of y in this equation 1 so you get here x minus minus 12 upon x is equals to 7 taking LCM you get here x square plus 12 is equals to 7 or you get x square plus 12 is equals to 7x further you get x square just bring the 7 here you get minus 7x plus 12 is equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation so we can just find out its factors by splitting up the middle term and here we get x x minus 4 minus 3 common here and x minus 4 is equal to 0 out of these two terms take out x minus 4 and x minus 3 is equal to 0 now this implies 
that x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Further, you have x is equal to 4 and here you have x is equal to 3. So, you can say that this is the third solution and this is the fourth solution. Now, we are going to calculate y. Since for x is equal to 4, y, putting this value in this equation, we have minus 12 upon x which is equals to minus 12 upon 4 this means y3 is equals to minus 3 now for x4 is equals to 3 we have y is equals to minus 12 upon x is equals to minus 12 upon 3 this in this get cancelled so y is equals to minus 4 this is our fourth solution so let's write down the solutions here we have x3 comma y3 and we have x4 comma y4 is equals to now x3 and y3 as we calculated it is 4 comma minus 3 and here we have 3 comma minus 4 and here we are done